Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video. And today what I got for you guys here is a brand new suit that we got revealed for us for Spider-Man in Marvel's Avengers, as well as a new in-game look at the character. Before we jump into everything, if you're looking forward to the Spider-Man DLC, it's coming to Marvel's Avengers in just two weeks. And if that sounds good to you, well then scroll down right now and hit the thumbs up button, share your excitement with me and show your support on the channel. If you're new here and you wanna keep up to date on everything regarding the Spider-Man DLC in Marvel's Avengers, I got you covered. I'm going to post tons of gameplay when the character drops on November 30th. And if that sounds good to you, then hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. Lastly, reminding you guys that I'm sponsored by G Fuel and you can get your hands on the Venom Let There Be Carnage G Fuel if you head to that link in the description right now. Get your hands on the red ooze or the black ooze and use code Caboose at checkout. And with all that being said, Let's jump into this. Okay, so on Friday, a ton of alternate suits for Spider-Man was revealed during the dev stream that Crystal Dynamics put together. However, after the stream, they put up a blog post to show off these suits in HD, and they actually revealed a brand new suit. And this is now the suit that you're seeing on screen. It is actually the Secret War suit, and I much prefer the design that Crystal Dynamics has created to what the look of the design was in the comic books it looks sweet here and here's what crystal dynamics had to say about the secret war suit over on their blog post designed by gabriel delatos and i hope i'm pronouncing that right for the secret war limited series this spider-man design has jumped out as one of the wall crawlers most striking interpretations we wanted to amplify the spy elements with our version balancing the artist's bold color and graphics usage of the original with a more tactically inspired foundation durable rubberized and metallic materials are perfect for standing up to a harsh environments, and his Delato influenced thin eye bezels make for a chilling gaze. He has thicker webbing patterns overlaying his bodysuit, and his bolder back icon is drastically contrasted with a smaller, more subtle icon on his chest. Bad guys will be smart to bolt if they see this Spider-Man swing in their way. And yeah, I very much prefer Crystal Dynamics design. I know that I said in my suit wishlist video that I want comic accurate skins to remain comic accurate, but some of the liberties that they've taken with this suit and then the recently revealed Ends of Earth suit has been great. I love what Crystal Dynamics is going for and they have such a vision for Spider-Man, I'm down for it. You can definitely see what they were going for and what they mentioned in the blog post and that they wanted to amplify the spy elements of the suit and you right away get that vibe from it. I love it. Moving on though, we also got a brand new screenshot of the iconic suit. This is the base design for Spider-Man in Marvel's Avengers that you're gonna be seeing most of the time if you're not gonna be using any alternate costumes for the character. And this was created by Crystal Dynamics an original design for Spider-Man. And here's the new screenshot. You're seeing it on screen right now. And again, I like what Crystal Dynamics is designed for Spider-Man is the only problem that I have with this design is the Spidey symbol on the chest. It's not that it just looks weird and that there's something off about it, but I think it's also just a little too big. So I do kind of wish that it was a bit smaller and a bit more subtle, kind of like what they did with the Secret War suit. But it mentions here on the blog post, after zipping around with Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Spidey's world and network gets expanded exponentially. We wanted to give him a unique look that embodied this experience, one that's instantly recognizable as Spider-Man, but is more refined thanks to his newfound resources. In our iconic take, we added elements that put Peter Parker's science and engineering talents on display. His suit's fabrics are more thoughtfully built for a skyscraper swing and crime fighter with shark skin-like material in the red areas and a coarser, more durable one in the blue. His gloves and boots are secured with rubberized gaiters and compression bands run throughout the suit for optimal performance and balance. We brought in the John Romita Sr. style thick eye bezels to give him a focused gaze and updated his icon to be larger and more angular with a haptic feedback pad within the spider's body. Regardless of my opinion on the actual suit itself, because I do have my gripe with it, mainly being the bigger Spidey symbol on the chest, I do like that Crystal Dynamics wanted to do something different and wanted to do something that was very much their own unique take on the character. You can obviously see where they pulled certain influence, but overall, this is a brand new, unique look for Spider-Man that we've never really seen before, and I'm all for that. Finally, though, with news that we got for Spider-Man, we got another brand new in-game look at the character this is actually one of the little intros that you'll see for spider-man when you're entering into a mission and oh boy does it get me very excited for what his gameplay could potentially be like and as well for what one of his alternate suits look like in game and it's incredible so they mentioned here on twitter in the comics peter's attempts to live a normal life are often thwarted by the need to be spider-man 
The Bugle Boy outfit celebrates his constant call to action with a sweater vest, jeans, and trademark mask. It makes taking pictures of Spider-Man that much easier, you know? And then attached there is the video that you're now seeing on screen of Spidey swinging into action with quite the impact on the landing. And oh my goodness, the animation looks great. And I cannot wait to see how this character's gameplay is going to look like in motion. I really hope that this little intro is a sign that we can kind of swing freely and have fun with this character's traversal and not be bogged down by only being able to swing on light posts. We also just got an in-game look at the Spider Armor Mark 1 suit, and this actually happened in the middle of my recording, so I apologize if the edit's a little weird, but it mentions here over on their Twitter that the Spider Armor Mark 1 outfit is inspired by Alex Savuk's design from Web of Spider-Man number 100. Also, Spider-Man faces off against Super Adaptoid in this issue. Just thought you should know in case you want to reenact anything in a certain family reunion, of course, in reference to a mission that's available in Marvel's Avengers. And yeah, the suit is fantastic and it looks really good in game. And also just another look at one of the different intros for Spider-Man when you're entering into a mission. And again, the animations here, they are definitely nailing it. I just can't wait to see what the character looks like in motion when you're actually playing as him. And if you're wondering when we're going to be seeing gameplay for Spider-Man, like some actual in motion gameplay for the character, well, supposedly there is going to be a war table for Spider-Man on November 29th, the day before he actually launches on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 exclusively. That's not to say though, that we're not gonna get any gameplay between now and November 29th. That very well could be the case. So just keep an eye out on this channel. I will keep you guys updated on everything Spider-Man DLC related for Marvel's Avengers. So subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those notifications. I'm gonna get you guys all that Spidey content that you're looking for, especially Jay Jonah. I know he wants some Spider-Man pictures. I got you. He's a menace to the entire city. I want that wall crawling arachnid prosecuted. I want him strung up by his web! I want Spider-Man! And with that being said, and now I want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on all the news that I presented for you guys here today on Spider-Man and Marvel's Avengers in the comments section below. First of all, what do you think about the Secret War suit? Do you like it better than the comic version? And then also, what do you think about the brand new screenshot that we got of the iconic outfit for Spider-Man and Marvel's Avengers? And then lastly, sound off with your thoughts in the comments on the brand new in-game look that we got at Spider-Man and his Bugle Boy outfit. I wanna hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose. And you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel. Or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.